Hey everybody, welcome back to Field Day 2020. Um, I know this is a little different than most of our field days as we are now doing it all virtually, but we're gonna make the best of it and have fun anyways. Uh, so our activity that we're gonna be doing now is one that I sent out for y'all to practice um, a couple weeks ago on our weekly uh, update, our weekly activity for the um, last couple months of school. Uh, so you may have had a chance to practice this one. If you didn't watch that video, that is okay because it's still going to be one that you can work a lot on and have a lot of fun with. All right, so let's get to it and let's have fun. All right, so this activity is called Jump the Creek, okay? And in this activity, you're going to need two ropes. I'm using jump ropes here, but you can use any type of regular rope, bungee rope, whatever it may be. If you don't have any ropes, you can even use um, something else like a stick or something like that to make your creek. Now I'm gonna give you a warning too before we start to do this activity in grass if you can, okay? Because that way if you fall, you won't get hurt. Um, we wanna make sure that we're trying to stay safe and all as much as possible, okay? So you wanna make sure you're trying to do this in grass, not on a hard top like this. And the only reason I'm showing you like this is just because um, this is where I have to show you and it's where I can get the best video out for you to see. I'm not gonna do it as far as I could today just so I don't get hurt, okay? If I was in grass, I could jump as far as I could. That way, if I fell, I would not get hurt. But in this activity, what you'll do is you'll start out with these two ropes or whatever else you're using, and you're gonna start them out pretty close together. And your goal is to run and be able to jump from one behind one rope across the other one, okay? Once you're able to do that, then you get your one of your ropes and you move it to make it a little bit further away, okay? So I'm making mine where I'm moving a little bit further away. Then I'd come back, and then I'd run and have to jump over that, okay? Then you keep moving it back more and more. You can keep doing this until you cannot make it over. So let's pretend that I get it here, and I can't make it over that. Let's just pretend that I can't, okay? So I would run, and let's just say I jump, and I'm short, okay? I land short of the other road. That would be the highest stage that I was able to get. Okay, so then what I would do is measure out the stage I was at before then to see how far I could jump. I think if you try your best, some of you will be surprised at just how far you can jump because it can be far. Now again, a few safety things. Do this in grass so that you, if you do fall, you're not gonna get hurt. Then also make sure you're still being smart with the way you're jumping, okay? Just because you may get across somewhere, you wanna make sure you're still landing safely, okay? You want to land safely on your feet and then bend those legs as you land so that you don't uh, hurt your ankles or knees or anything like that. All right, so I hope you enjoy this activity. I um, hope you have a great rest of the day and I hope everybody has a um, great week and uh, summer as we lead up to summer as well. All right, bye everybody.